Oh, welcome back. I thought I'd give you a quick update um, for the bit of progress I've made. Uh, I made quite a bit of progress, but it doesn't actually look a lot. Um, one thing I'm going to do, as I was explaining in the previous video, is I'm actually going to paint the inside of the car. All the steel on here. I'm not going to put any leather cloth or any carpet or anything. Um, one of you guys have actually kindly recommended um, some bed, or truck bed paint, which can be actually brushed on or rolled on. And it comes out a nice texture, so once it's all prepared, I'm, I'm going to do that. Anyway, so what I've done at the moment is put these little caps on on here. Um, I have a bit of a hundred by it's five hundred miles to a sheet. I ordered the wrong stuff. I ordered two mil rather than uh, one mil, and uh, it's a bit harder to bend. Um, anyway, it's on there now. So the plan is it's actually on there at the moment, but, but obviously these bolts here they can be sort of button heads and whatever. Let's go around the other side and I'll show you a bit, a bit more. Yeah, so it's all fitting nicely. So the plan is really to get some of this leather cloth stuff. Cover it with that. So that will look quite nice. And also then I'm, I've ordered some little bits of stainless steel. Uh, flat plate again. Or sheet. Only some one mil this time. And I'm actually going to fold it over here. Just a little bit, because so, obviously that's where the seat belts come up through. They come up through there, and um, I pretty much want, I don't really want you want seat belts rubbing on the leather cloth because they just wear a big hole in it. Um, they actually fit quite well. The steel trim. I've got a little bit more to do. I don't know if you can see there. There's a little bit there I need to file out. Um, what else is there? Just there's something else up here. So I can't remember now. Oh yes, this uh, this join here. I'm going to have to make it a bit bigger because when I wrap it in leather cloth, obviously leather cloth needs to go somewhere. So I should open that up a couple of mil. And the other one is sort of there. I want to make it a little bit bigger just so it sits down nicely. Um, so that should work out quite well. The other bit I have done, which has took a very long time, is this piece here. That's covering up all sorts of nasties underneath here. So again, it's just a bit of mild steel. It took me sort of forever and a day just to do it but it actually fits in nicely now and I'm getting a bit better on putting the leather cloth on there and uh, that's, that's all done yeah I've done a little bit more of this um, well I want to try and get rid of this bloody imitation carbon fibre stuff I, I think it actually looks horrible um, this centre console bit here that was a uh, where's that bit I can show you See, that's what it looked like. I actually cut that piece off, off there. Cause that was that's where the handbrake sit in there. So oh, I'll just throw it on the floor. Put it right in that way. All right, so that's sort of a before, like a plastic carbon fibre, and to this leather cloth. I think the leather cloth looks much better. Anyway, I've done it now, and the next thing, obviously, I've done that, and I'm going to looking at this very horrible dashboard. I'm not really sure what to do with it. I always think of taking it all out and just put a piece of timber on there, but then I notice it's sort of got a bit of a curve in it. So I'll probably end up just taking it out and covering it in this leather cloth, I think. Then I'm going to try and do something with them dials, because they obviously it looks well, obviously, it is a Sierra cluster, but I'm going to try and make it. We'll disguise it somehow a little bit more. I'm not sure how yet, but I think once I take it all out, it might be more evident. And that should be a little bit on top of the steering wheel. I don't you see it? So half heartedly sort of done it. Anyway, uh, what else have I done? Oh, this corner piece is here. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if I turn, turn the camera out the other way. It's all boxed in nicely now. What was it had before? What was that? And then obviously there's a massive great big gap down the side there. So what I'll do, I'll put, get some seam sealant and just put a nice thin coating over there. And I'll do it from the other side as well. That's before I paint it all. So all in all, it's, it's come out really nice now. That trouble painting the, uh, I was going to paint the handbrake. Well, that's the bracket for it. That's actually come out now, second attempt. I thought I'd do the handbrake as well. And that's, this is the third attempt, it keeps pickling, isn't it? It's reacting with the paint underneath it. One side's come out alright, the other side's come out paints. So I'm going to rub it down again. I've got some, uh, turn the camera around, some of the sealer, I'm going to put a special sealer on it to 
so it won't react. So I'll try that. But the, I'll say the base plate for the handbrake's come out really nice. I've done it in like a setting, which I quite like. Um, oh, the bend, I don't know what I was going to show you. The bender. Right, the way I bent it, it's obviously that is about, I think it's 40, 42mm across the inside there. I know you can, there is a bend, there's a calculation to calculate the bending allowance. Well, I'm not clever enough to do that. So what I did, I took a little sample, this is the second one. I made it sort of 100mm long. I don't know if you can see inside it. Where's the camera? Oh, it's not going to focus. But I actually put some masking tape on the inside. Oh, is it focus? No. Anyway, I put some masking tape on the inside. I mark lines every five mm, five millimeters across, and then I, on the twenty-five millimeter mark, I put it in the bender, which is this thing. It's not, it's not a marvellous bender, but it's, once you get the hang of it, it's actually okay. Put a lot on. That's better. Because there's a lot of play in it all the time. But So I've done the first bend. Then I've, then I've turned it round. So I've done that bend first. Then I've sort of worked out. So 35mm, I've tried it. i put another bend in the other side. In there. And it worked out a little bit too tight. So I worked, measured the inside. I realised I've got to make it at 30, 33. So I've done another sample one at 25mm line and 33 from that end. And it worked out about perfect. So that's pretty much how I've done it. Um, that's pretty much it now. Well, thanks for coming back. See you again shortly. Bye now.